All right, so a question I get a lot is about blue light and whether we should be concerned about blue light affecting our skin or whether or not we should be wearing sunscreen inside because of the effect of blue light on the skin. So blue light is light in the wavelength of 420 to 490 nanometers. So it's part of the light spectrum. And uh, we know that blue light that comes from the sun does indeed cause uh, pigmentation, sunburn, and so on. The question here is, does the blue light emitted from your device, so your phone, your television, your computer, is that as damaging or the same as the blue light emitted from the sun? Now, that's a good question. So how do we look at that or how do we study that? Right, so there's one population of people whose skin definitely reacts to light in a more sensitive or hyperacute way than people without the skin condition, and that's the condition of melasma. So patients with melasma are more sensitive to the darkening or pigmentation effects of the sun than those without melasma. So that's a good group of patients to look at and see whether blue light emitted from devices causes worsening or darkening of their melasma. And that's exactly what a group did. So a few years ago, a group published this um, in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology, and they looked exactly at that question. And the title of the paper is Short-Term Exposure to Blue Light Emitted by Electron devices does not worsen melasma. Now this is a really interesting study. So let me just whiz through this for you so you, I can reassure you that the blue light from your phone is not going to make your melasma worse. So we know that the sun emits blue light and that does indeed cause photo damage. It causes hyperpigmentation because it is pretty strong. Now melanocytes, the skin cells that um, cause the increase in melanin in the skin or produce melanin, are, are, they're called melanocytes, and they can sense wavelengths of light um, through an activation of a receptor on the cell surface called the opsin-3 receptor. Now, the thing is, what we need to look at is the irradiance of the light or the brightness of the light. So that's the amount of light or radiant energy that's striking a given area of a surface at any one time. Think of it like the power of the light or the intensity of the light. So the power of light, the irradiance, has a really profound effect on its biological effects on the skin. So it's not only about what type of light it is, but how bright or strong that light is and how long does it stay on the skin for. And that's what we need to look at if we're going to think about whether or not blue light, for example, from a device, does affect your skin in the same way that blue light does from the sun. So this group of researchers... They measured the intensity of blue light emitted from several devices, um, placed 10 to 20 centimeters from the face. So a, a cell phone or an iPhone was 10 centimeters because you tend to be closer to those. Uh, your television, your computer, further away, 20 centimeters. And they found that the blue light from the sun is a thousand times more intense than the blue light from a device. A thousand times more intense. That's massive, okay? So how they did the study is they took a bunch of patients with melasma, with skin types three and four, so darker skin patients. They covered half their faces with um, opaque or like light resistant tape, um, and they exposed the, the other half of the face to the equivalent of eight hours of exposure to blue lights at the intensity found from, by the most powerful screen or brightest screen possible for five days in a row, okay? Every day for five days, for eight hours, they exposed the face. They didn't actually expose it for eight hours, but that's what the, the kind of the length was or the, the power of the, the light. They compared the melasma on both sides of the face, day one, day five, and day 15. They had a blinded, um, they had blinded evaluators, so the evaluators didn't know which face had been exposed to the sun to try to see whether or not there was a change in the darkness, darkening. And as you can expect, there was no change in melasma on either side of the face there was no change in skin lightness, skin darkness, redness, yellowest, yellowness. There was no change in the melasma after five consecutive days of eight-hour exposure to blue light. Now, it is possible that if you were to do that every day for a year, you may get darkening of your melasma, but I think that's extraordinarily unlikely. So the argument here with wearing sunscreen indoors because of blue light that argument is uh, not an argument because the blue light emitted from your device is a thousand times less intense than that from the sun. And it's almost impossible for that to cause you to have darkening of your melasma or sun damage. So rest assured, if you're staring at a computer screen all day or at your phone all day, as many of us do, that blue light ain't doing nothing to your skin. So there's nothing you need to worry about. There you go. Blue light and your skin.